sitting outside my uh, guest house room, cup of coffee at my side, little knife with a sharp little blade, and that can only mean one thing, uh, an unboxing. Well, this, I have to say, is quite a special unboxing. The I know what is inside this box, though, to be honest, my brain has barely begun to compute that what is inside this box really is what's inside this box. You'll see what I mean in a, uh, in a minute or two. It's quite an extraordinary item, and you might be able to uh, track my YouTube life or my life in general based on pre this box and post this box a lot of things might change because of what is inside this uh, package. This is a gift, by the way, given to me by someone who watches my videos, a very uh, generous viewer, and I have been sworn to secrecy about their identity, but I know who they are, and we've been in uh, close contact um, about this uh, particular package. So thank you very much, of course, to uh, my uh, secret viewer out there who sent me the contents of this box. So I may have mentioned already there are three items inside this box, and I'm not sure what order I'm going to uh, pull them out in, but uh, let's sort of see what happens. I'll try to save the main item for last and uh, build up to that moment. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, see if we can get into this box. I don't have a big story to tell about it getting here, the uh, shipping process was pretty straightforward for a change. It was shipped and then it um, arrived. And that's pretty much all there is to it. No confusion, no delays, no, uh, there's nothing. No one had to write or draw maps to my guest house on it or anything like that. There we go, that's one side. Other side. Ah, okay. So there is the item on the top. I will bring that out first. Let me actually let me move the box to the side. It's, it's, <laughs> it's such a big box. It's kind of blocking uh, everything that's going on. So. Here's item number one. Wow. And this is a very special item. Um, it's a knapsack from the PackSafe company. And I believe this is the Vibe 20 liter model. Um, and if you don't know about PackSafe, I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about this company. They design bags and items for traveling, all focusing on security, so theft prevention. So with this bag, it has like a, a million features built into it. Um, I, I won't go over all the features because that would be way too much. But the basic idea is that these straps have wires and cables sewn into them so that if a thief tried to cut the strap with a razor and then run away with the bag, they couldn't do it because there's actually cables in there and they wouldn't be able to cut through the cables. Same thing for the material itself. The material of the bag has wire mesh embedded in it. So if they tried to cut through the bag at any point, the knife would encounter this wire mesh and they wouldn't be able to uh, cut into it which is actually quite handy. When I was uh, in Peru uh, many, many years ago, I had experience with that where thieves would follow behind uh, tourists in general if they happened to be wearing a knapsack on their back. And then in a crowded market, they would get close to them and then slice the bottom of their bag with a very sharp razor and then try to get the contents of the bag to fall out. And then they just pick them up off the, uh, off the ground and run away with it. So a bag like this is meant to protect against that kind of theft. 
And one feature I quite like about these bags is that I don't know how this works yet. I've never seen one of these pack safes before, but it has a special buckle here that you can lock and unlock. It looks to be locked now. Okay, so you unlock it, press the button, and then this slides conveniently right open. So if you happen to be sitting in a internet cafe or a coffee shop or whatever, instead of just putting your bag on the floor next to you or on the chair next to you where someone could easily distract you and then run away with the bag, you unhook this strap, put this through the arm of the chair, and then you just lock it into position again. So now even if someone did manage to distract you and their partner grabbed the bag and tried to take it away, it would be hooked over the chair or over the table leg or over anything else that you can find. In the past, what I've done with knapsacks, instead of putting them on the ground, I actually drape them over my leg. So I drape the shoulder strap over my knee so that I'm always physically in contact with my bag because I have heard a lot of stories of people who go into uh, coffee shops and then they set their bags down beside them thinking, well, it's right here. Obviously it's safe because it's right beside me, but you'd be surprised how easy it is to get distracted and you're busy here on your computer or something and then the bag just, you know, disappears behind you and you never notice that somebody took it. But if it is physically attached to you or to the chair, or to the table, then of course, a, a sneak thief like that would not be able to uh, take it away. And of course, it has special locking mechanisms for the zippers. So all the zippers themselves click together and then you can either put your own padlock through them or in this case, they have their own locking mechanism. So um, all of the uh, pockets here are also locked and sealed with a special lock up there at the top. So yeah, that is a, a pack safe product. With the Vibe 20 liter. Yeah, very nice bag. Very compact, very well designed, I think. So that should come in uh, very, very handy. <laughs> um, ooh. Okay, I guess what I will do is pull out one other item. This item was sort of an afterthought in a way that came out of discussions of the main item. So let's find it and uh, there it is there. Now, we are getting into territory that I know absolutely nothing about, so I'll just be babbling here. But basically, this is an iPhone. It's an older model, as you can see, the iPhone, the iPhone SE, which I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think that stands for Special Edition. And I believe the first iPhone SE came out in 2016. So I believe this phone, this actual model that I'm holding, um, dates back to 2016. But the iPhone SE is still supported by Apple right up until this year. So it still has the latest version of all of the, you know, Apple software um, loaded onto it. And my understanding is that the SE, ooh, <laughs> Look at that. There it is there. Was an extreme, or still is, an extremely popular line for Apple simply because it bucks the trend of huge phones. Like phones of all variety are getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They're practically tablets, you know, in some of them. And the SE came out as sort of a... Um, uh, to go opposite that trend and make a very small, lightweight, extremely pocketable device. There it is there. Wow. 
I've never, well, actually, no exaggeration, not only have I never owned any type of iPhone, I don't think I've ever held one before. Not even an older model like this. I don't think I've ever held an iPhone. Weird when you think about it. But yeah, um, I've seen them all over the place, of course, and it has that very distinctive Apple design, you know, the rounded corners. What an interesting looking device. Hmm, look at that, the iPhone SE. I want to give this a good charge, charge it up fully before I turn it on, so I won't do that uh, right now. But um, just for fun, let's take a look at the, the contents of the box itself. I took a quick peek, and that's kind of why I want to show it to you, because, wow, um, everything, everything is still included. It is, as I said, an older phone, dates back to 2016, um, which to me feels like yesterday. Uh, but according to the clock and the calendar, yeah, that was a few years ago now. But um, all the original accessories are still in there, and everything is still in uh, perfect condition. The, uh, yeah, nice little brick charger. And again, I love these, what I think of as the North American style plugs, because that's what I grew up with, and that's what I'm used to. The, uh, you know, little, little charging cable. And the uh, Apple... Uh, uh, earbuds, which, again, judging from this case, I doubt they've ever been uh, taken out. So everything here is in, uh, yeah, pristine condition, including the phone itself, which, if you told me it was made yesterday and just came out of the, uh, the factory, I would believe you because it's, yeah, completely untouched. Right now, my main phone, what I call my, well, my main editing phone is an uh, Android phone, um, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and it is quite a large phone. I've gotten used to holding that in my hands. So now holding this is really quite, quite incredible to feel it, you know, just how small it is. And uh, there's so many advantages to having a small device like that. So. Item number two, an iPhone SE, let's set that to the side. Oh, in the meantime, I, I opened up the interior of this Vibe 20 liter PackSafe uh, knapsack just to take a look at how the, you know, the inner uh, pockets are designed. And I forgot about one other security feature, which is quite important, that um, here at the front, of course, you've got a million um, pockets. You know, there's a zippered compartment here, a mesh compartment little slots for all of your pens and phones and keys, all that kind of thing. And another zippered um, slit compartment there at the top. But right here is a very special bag or special compartment. This is an RF, RFID, is it RFID? Yeah, RFID safe compartment. So anything, your credit cards or anything that can be scanned, um, using this modern technology. I know very little about the dangers of this, but I have heard people talk about it, that with a special scanner, thieves can actually scan your ID and credit cards and items like that from a distance. But if you put it into one of these bags, it has special shielding, which blocks RFID signals from getting through. So anything important, you can put it in there and nobody can scan it. And then it has a very nice, uh, you know, main inner compartment. So that is the pack safe. Oh, this is the Vibe 25. Oh, okay, I thought it was the 20 liter, but this is the, the Vibe 25 liter. Um, and it says Vibe with Exo Mesh. So I guess that protective wire mesh that's embedded in the material, they call it the um, Vibe Exo Mesh. Oh, so let's set that aside. Well, I hope that wasn't too much babbling about uh, some of the contents of that box before I get to the main item. We now turn our attention to that and carefully wrapped in bubble wrap. There it is. What do you think it might be? 
This, of course, I deliberately showed this first to give kind of a hint. This is, you know, the iPhone. And since an iPhone was included as kind of an afterthought to go along with the main gift, you might be able to guess what is in here. But even if you're guessing, I think I still might be able to surprise you. As I said, um, I am beyond surprised myself. So let's do this very carefully, get through some of this tape. I thought I would use my little uh, Swiss Army knife for a change, show it some love, but it's not quite up to the task. So I've reverted back to my original um, unboxing scissors. There we go. Now we're, now, we're, uh, now we're cooking with gas, as my father would say. I think we've uh, gotten into it, and let's pull that out. And there it is. I had it upside down, I guess. And I guess you can't tell just from the cover. I certainly can't because I'm not familiar with Apple products at all. But this is an Mac. This is a MacBook Pro. 13 inch, uh, the model from late 2017. So MacBook Pro 13 inch, which I believe has a 256 uh, gigabyte SSD drive inside. And then beyond that, I think the specs kind of don't even matter anymore because it's just such an amazing laptop, particularly for what I'm going to be using it for, of course, mainly video editing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit familiar with Windows machines. I'm very unfamiliar with Apple products, but I've done some research, you know, since I knew this was coming into my life. And I guess the amazing thing about MacBooks and Apple products in general is that all of the components are just integrated so well that you get the maximum performance out of everything that's in there. So even talking about, I don't even know whether it has a core i5 in this particular model or a core i7 processor. I believe there were two options for this device, maybe, but I don't think it really matters much whether it is the i5 or the i7. For the basic video editing that I do, this machine will be blazingly fast. And the screen is incredibly sharp. It's a retina display extremely bright. I believe it goes up to 450 nits of brightness, which is a key thing. When I was investigating Windows machines, thinking about buying my own laptop, if I ever managed to get enough money to do that, um, quite, a, quite a few of the laptops that I thought were suitable for me and kind of in my price range, they were often let down by the screen, by the display. Everything else might be just about okay, but then you re read the reviews and they'll say, well, the display on this model is quite dim. You know, the colors aren't sharp. It's not very bright. All these things, then you think, ugh. But then as soon as you start looking at laptops with brighter displays, of course, the price suddenly doubles. But anyway, talking about MacBooks and MacBook Pros, no concerns about any of that. You know, no concerns about the speed of the processor, the, the memory. Um, the brightness of the display, everything, you know, on this device is going to be uh, top notch. <laughs> so, yeah, that's extraordinary. Um, yeah, look at that. I, ah, I, I barely know what to do with myself. I don't even know how to handle one of these things. What a beautiful machine. But I guess we can, uh, I'm, not, I'm not going to power it up here on camera, of course. I'm going to uh, take my time and uh, make sure I do everything properly and carefully. But I guess I, I can open up the, uh, open it up. Let's put it down carefully. Wow. <laughs> that is futuristic. Look at that. 
It even <laughs> it has a, a new computer smell. Oh, it seems to be booting all by itself. I didn't realize that was going to happen. Just opening the lid appears to have fired it up. So this, this thing has a brain of its own. But yeah, I'm going to um, set that aside for now and I will, I will go through the setup procedure on my own when I'm feeling relaxed and um, in air conditioned comfort. But yeah, there it is, the uh, MacBook Pro uh, 13 inch, 13 inch uh, screen. Wow. I have no experience with Apple products, like I said, other than um, I had an iPod long ago so I fiddled around with iPods and I used iTunes to manage my music library. And I remember decades, like decades and decades ago, I had a job in Toronto, back in Canada. And believe it or not, I was actually computer and tech support in a large public utility company in, uh, in Canada. <laughs> And as part of my job, I had to work on one of the original Macintosh desktop computers. This was before Windows even existed. Um, PCs didn't have Windows yet. Um, so the whole world of the Mac was completely brand new, having that kind of a graphic display controlled by a mouse. All of that was revolutionary at that time, though I think it would be almost childishly simple now compared to what uh, you know a macbook pro looks like today but that was that has been my only experience with apple products you know the very first uh, you know Mac, i think they're called macintosh right the macintosh desktop system and a lot of large corporations bought them just for their graphics uh, capability and that's what i use them for in that company but um yeah that was a, that was another lifetime so there you have it my uh, unboxing of the uh, MacBook Pro 13 inch. <laughs> I'm nervous just holding it in the air. I better uh, put it back down. And it came with uh, the uh, accessories. So we've got the, uh, the charger. I guess it requires a bit more oomph than the iPhone SE. So it's got a larger uh, power brick there but also with the, uh, what I think of as the North American prongs. So that's cool. And one, perhaps one limitation of this model is what I read about is that it doesn't have a lot of connectivity. I think that's kind of a hallmark of Apple products, right? Windows machines, when you buy a laptop, you might get, you know, a million ports, you know, all kinds of USB-C, USB-A, HDMI, you get ports, ports, ports all over the place, card readers. Apple goes in the opposite directions and makes everything minimal. They want everything to be wireless. And so this model has two USB-C um, ports. And I guess one of them you need for the power which leaves you basically with only one port really for everything else. And uh, knowing that, my uh, secret uh, donor of this amazing device included uh, an adapter, like a hub right here. So it has two USB-C plugs on it and that clicks into the side of the computer and then it gives you on the, on the outside two USB-C ports, uh, micro SD card reader, SD card reader, and then two USB-A ports. So this tiny device is very handy. You know, if you click it into the side of the MacBook, suddenly you get a full array of ports and card readers. And I believe this one is kind of unique in the Apple line because it still has a 3.5 millimeter uh, earphone jack. So you can plug earphones into this device. Oh. <laughs> oh, check this out. Someone knows me very well because inside the box, an assortment of um, Ziploc waterproof bags. I think I mentioned in a video at one point how much I value these because I, I, I use them my whole life. I put everything inside these protective bags. And I've actually found it difficult to find good ones in stores. 
I'm not a very good shopper, apparently, but uh, my, my secret donor here is good at shopping and uh, included an assortment of, um, yeah, Ziploc, yeah, protective bags so I can keep everything dry and uh, organized. So that's it. Today's unboxing and whew, wow. I guess I get to spend a good chunk of today um, learning uh, more about this device. And as I said, I think my life will divide into two parts, the pre MacBook part of my life and then the post MacBook life. I think this is going to have quite a revolutionary effect on me in general, certainly in terms of video editing and my life of uh, technology. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed that unboxing and uh, thank you once again to uh, the generous viewer who sent this my way. Yeah, no, I don't have words. Words can't express uh, how grateful I am for you uh, sending me this. This is going to uh, make a big difference in my life. And for everyone else, I'll see you in the next video.